Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here is a tremendous puzzle. Send plus more is equal to money. You have to solve for each letter where each letter is a distinct digit. M is not equal to zero, and the solution is unique. I also want to thank everyone who suggested this problem to me. It includes the following people. Darren from Oklahoma, Mark from Tennessee, as well as Ryan and James Camp from Texas. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So before I get to the answer, I highly encourage you to work this problem out. It took me about 30 minutes to work through the cases carefully and then devise a way to explain it. Logical puzzles like this will improve your number sense and you can only get better with practice. So how can we solve this? We'll start with the fifth column. Since the resulting sum is a five digit number and the largest sum we can produce is 9999 plus 9999, which is less than 20,000, we can conclude m is equal to 1. So we already have one of the digits, which takes two spots in the summation. Now we look at the fourth column. We again use the same sort of argument. Since the largest three digit sum we can produce is 999 plus 999, which is less than 2,000, Column three either gives a zero carryover or it gives a one carryover to the fourth column. So we can work through the cases. If there's no carryover, we have S plus one is equal to 10 plus O. This would imply that S is equal to nine plus O. In the other case where we have a one carryover, we have one plus S plus one is equal to 10 plus O. And this implies that S is equal to eight plus O. Since S is a single digit, we must have O is equal to zero or O is equal to one. Anything larger would produce something larger than nine. Now, since M is equal to one, we can't have O be equal to one. Therefore, O must be equal to zero. So we figured out another digit. Now we'll look at the third column. Since E cannot be equal to N because each of the letters is a distinct digit, we cannot have E plus zero is equal to N. We must have one plus E is equal to N. In other words, there must be carryover from column two. Now, since N cannot be equal to zero, we must have E is less than nine. Consequently, column three cannot produce any carryover to column four. So we're gonna look at column four again, and we must have S plus one is equal to 10, which means S is equal to nine. So we figured out another digit. Now we look at the second column. There must be carryover from this column into the third column. So we must have N plus R is equal to 10 plus E, or if there's carryover from the first column, we have one plus N plus R is equal to 10 plus E. So let's work through the first case. Since we have one plus E is equal to N, we can substitute that in for N. We have one plus E plus R is equal to 10 plus E. This would imply that R is equal to nine. However, we cannot have R equal to nine because S is equal to nine. So we eliminate this possibility. So we solve the second case. This implies that one plus one plus E plus R is equal to 10 plus E, which then implies R is equal to eight. So we figured out another digit. And furthermore, since we're in this case, this means there must be carryover from column one because we have one plus N plus R. So we'll keep track of all of this and we have R is equal to eight and we know that there must be carryover from column one. So we look at column one. Since y cannot equal zero or one, those digits are already used, we must have d plus e is greater than or equal to 12. 
Now, since D and E cannot be equal to eight or nine because those digits are used, we only have a couple possibilities. We could either have seven plus five is equal to 12, or we could have seven plus six, which is equal to 13. So one of the digits, E is equal to seven or D is equal to seven. Now suppose that E is equal to seven. In that case, E plus one will be equal to eight, which is equal to N. But this is not possible since R is equal to eight. So we can eliminate that E is equal to seven. This means D is equal to seven, which means E is equal to five or six because seven plus five is equal to 12 or seven plus six is equal to 13. So what would happen if E is equal to five or six? Well, suppose E is equal to six. In that case, E plus one is seven, which would be equal to N. But this is not possible because D is already equal to seven. So we must have E is equal to five, which means E plus one is equal to six, which is equal to N. Finally, we have seven plus E, which will be equal to seven plus five, which equals 12. So this means Y is equal to two. And we figured it out. We have E is equal to five, N is equal to six, and Y is equal to two. And we've solved that this puzzle, send plus more is equal to money, has a solution 9,567 plus 1,085 is equal to 10,652. It's an incredible puzzle since there is just a single solution and you can work through it very carefully with basic arithmetic. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free, inspire and build confidence for people around the world and they already have over a hundred million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos. You can email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.